doing well. Hello, good day. Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, YouTube people. How are you? Oh, my creative tribe. It's Monday. It's now noon. It's straight up noon. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm actually webcasting on time right at noon. Whoa. And I'm live on Facebook now and on YouTube. So I have two cameras simulcasting. We go simulcasting. Very, very advanced technology. All right. So we have a few people on YouTube. We have a few people on uh, Facebook. I'm going to... Hello, Diane Kelly. Hello. Thank you so much for being live with us here, live Turbo Tuesday. This is our hour of pencil power. In fact, you know what? I need to have an hour of pencil power, like a standard logo I'm using all the time. And here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna pick one of my logos here. Let's see. Let's pick a cool logo here. Here, I like this one right here. Our hour of pencil power. There it is. Our hour of pencil. We're gonna we're gonna lift up our spirits. We're gonna lift up our imagination. We're gonna lift up. We're gonna float up, and we're gonna telescope our creativity to the world. It's gonna be really cool. Here's another one. Our hour of pencil power. Look at this. I see you. I see you here. I see you guys. We're gonna have so much fun today. Richard saying on fa uh, Facebook. He's saying I'm so glad. I found you 34 years ago. Thank you so much for your kind comments at our Pensable Special. Oh, hey, uh, uh, Diane's getting a, a, ahead of me here on my thank you and my promotions. If you guys, if you guys are wanting to support me in this effort of doing these daily webcasts, you can pre-order my new book, which is called uh, Our Pencil Power. It's going to be a collection of all of these, all of these lessons. It's going to be at least a. Uh, with my story and Mario's story and our pictures, it'll be a substantial book. If you want to order it, uh, you go right here. And usually it's $100 to get one of my books with a little illustration on the inside cover. It's half off. It's 50 bucks. And also, if you guys get this, I'm going to send you today, I'll send you an index. Uh, this is this is not the, the correct index, but it'll be something like this. It'll be a PDF that you can print up and clip together. It'll have all the pictures and all the pages of the book. You don't have to wait for the book to be published. It's going to be a big book. Okay? It'll be as big as this one. This is just a small art card. See? Isn't that cool? Our Pencil Power. The index is free. It's just a bonus. It's an, it's an e email PDF that you guys can have, so you don't have to just wait for the couple of months of the book's going to take. Also, before I get started, I want to thank all my new members for my Draw 3D um, membership. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely, I couldn't do this. I couldn't keep going without the uh, the uh, this Draw 3D membership. If you guys are just discovering me, um, I've been teaching for, goodness gracious, over 40 years. <clears throat> I started teaching on the Secret City Commander Mark back in... Uh, uh, 1985, and then we did this series right here, Imagination Station, on public television back in 1995. We won the Emmy for that one, and that one's on Amazon Prime. So if you guys want to get the family membership, it's usually $200, and if you have the resources and can afford it, thank you for the for the $200 membership. If you need a 75% off code, there it is, and if you need a 50% off code, there it is. How We just want to make it affordable to you. We want to get millions and millions of families drawing in 3D, escaping the stress and the anxiety and being creative and being uh, using your imagination, being joyful, okay? Thank you also to all the people who are uh, sponsoring my GoFundMe page. I'm just uh, <laughs> hoping I don't sound like I'm begging, but I'm begging. If you guys value these hour of pencil powers, uh, thank you. Uh, how about a buck a lesson? How about pitching in? Go to Mark Kistler's uh, Kids Special. Go to GoFundMe and type in my name, Mark Kistler. Type in my name, Mark Kistler, and, and pitch in a buck a lesson. That'd be so awesome. I'd so appreciate it. All right, let's get into our drawing lesson today. Today, we're going to draw. <clears throat> we're going to draw the hammerhead shark. We're going to draw this really cool image of the fishy. We're going to draw the sea turtle. And I got all kinds of cool sketches to draw. So let's get busy. We've got lots and lots of cool drawings to do. So here we go. And there's Emma McDonald on YouTube. My son uses three, and he did suds. Oh, he used it. That's wonderful, Emma. Thank you for your membership. 
And uh, uh, Emma, her, her, they bought a membership for Draw 3D, and Emma on YouTube saying her son used it to draw the Suds Monster in the bathtub. Uh, that is so cool. See, in the in this in the Draw 3D membership, in this one right here, there's um, uh, about a hundred lessons just for six, seven year olds, five, six, seven year olds called mini marshmallows. This has many levels beginning in a, it's just so cool. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to put a dot here in the middle. I'm going to get my four squares. I'm going to get this all ready to go here. Dot, I'm, well, I'm going to put it more in the middle here. And uh, here we go. Halfway down and halfway down here. And I don't know, somehow, maybe I'll put a logo. I'm not sure. I've been kind of avoiding that lately because I've been so busy with the four. And let's get going on our hour of pencil power. Someone type that in. Someone type in woohoo. Someone type in hour of pencil power. Someone type in woohoo. Let's go. Someone type in. Someone type in yahoo. Hour of pencil power. So we're going to start with little baby octopus, little squid guys. I'm going to draw this squid leaning. It's going to be slanting this way. I'm going to draw this big baby squid here. It's really cute. Now this one, this squid was actually in my book. You can draw at 199 days of drawing. This book right here, it was featured in this book, 199 days of drawing, one drawing a day. And I thought, I love that so much. I'm gonna draw that again. So I'm gonna draw these little squid legs, do four little squid legs here. And the squid on top, let me focus it here. Our pencil power, woohoo. Then I'm gonna draw the, this little baby squid eyes. Big eyes here and a big eye here, okay? So there's one baby squid. And I'll darken that in. Little baby squid here, isn't that gonna be, isn't that cute? This little tiny squid legs, he's kind of, like if this was like in uh, uh, Searching for Nemo, Finding Nemo. Remember they went to school and the little squid inked? Isn't that cute? So this guy, he's gonna be looking over this way. I always leave a little reflection in the light, a little reflection in the eye. You see that? Isn't that cute? Now, back behind here, <clears throat> watch this. Back behind here, uh, back behind here, I'm going to draw a few little smaller. Look at this, little peekaboo. You see this? It has eight legs. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and here's seven and eight. See, I put these little... Little peekaboo lines back there. Little peekaboo squid uh, legs. Little peekaboo. Someone type in peekaboo. Someone type in peekaboo. Peekaboo is so important to give it that illusion of near and far. That's our goal. We're trying to make the illusion of near and far. So we put some action lines. The, the squid's kind of shaking and moving. I'll keep the light coming from the top right. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'll take my pencil... Now this is a blended one. This is blended shading. I'm gonna shade under the eyes a little bit. A little bit under here. Now look at this, it gets lighter and lighter as it comes up. Okay, so it's dark on the edge. And then we use our, our awesome blending stomp. And I'll go on, I'll, I'll kind of uh, carefully blend it. See on a round object, you're gonna blend that stomp down here when it comes down. All right, looking good. Looking good. Blend, blend, blend. Do you love it, you guys? Is that looking cool for you? And I am loving this. Okay, now, let's take this. I know it's kind of glitchy on Facebook, but thanks for hanging in with me, guys. Now, I'm going to put I want to put another little one back here, same slant, but I'm going to put a, a, a smaller one. See, this is the word size. This is the word size. Is the... Uh, uh, the closer that the the octopus is, the larger. And then see that if they're if they're further away, they're smaller. You see that? Now, if it's too glitchy on Facebook, guys, you can always switch to YouTube. I'm simulcasting on both. Hey, please, would you guys uh, subscribe to me on YouTube? And would you follow me on Instagram? Would you guys hear someone send me a text if that's okay? Say, yeah, I subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. I want to. My goal is to get a hundred thousand families subscribed to me on YouTube. I don't know why that's important, but my kids think it's super important for me to be cool on Instagram and YouTube. So, please follow me. Oh, Jacqueline already did. Well, thank you, Jacqueline. I appreciate it. 
And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram too. Here's there's my uh, Instagram right there, Mark Kissler, artist. And Fat Fatima, thank you, Fatima, for subscribing to my Instagram and to my Facebook. And also, hey, if you're on Facebook, would you share this with all of your tribe? Share this stream. Would you share it? Let's see how many families we can get drawing today. We have 29 families. We have about 70, 60, 70 people drawing on YouTube with me right now. Um, I love that. How many do we have on Facebook right now? Katie uh, Shalupa De Jong, I'm so, so glad. Thank you for subscribing to me on both. That's wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, I'm going to put a little darker tone. So there's two little. Now, I'm going to put another one. Now, just to add a little bit of variety, look, I'm going to put a little uh, one, one up here. Look at this. I want to put, put a, a baby squid over here, and it's going to be a little bit tucked behind this guy. See this little baby squid over here, isn't that cute? And this guy, so I'm gonna draw the other little baby squid. Do you love our little baby squid guy here? He's kind of waving. And see, it's 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 uh, it's a little underneath there. We overlap, we tucked it behind. That's one of those Renaissance words. Those Renaissance words are so important. They're so important. And remember, those Renaissance words are uh, right here on the list. For shortening, placement, size, overlapping, shading, shadow, contour, horizon, density, bonus, practice, 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 and having a great attitude. This chart is so important to learn. You print this up, it's a free download printable. Just go to draw3d.com and go to printables. And while you're there, that's my clever marketing ploy. While you're there, you'll see what an amazing family membership Draw3D is. Hey, if, if you have already have a membership, would you text that? Uh, I'm doing you did, did on YouTube. All right, thank you, guys. All of your eyes overlap. I love that. Hey, guys, did anybody out there, are any of you signed up as members of my Draw3D? Would you just give me a shout and say... Yeah, and, and uh, tell me what you think. Tell me how it changed your life forever, and you're just so glad that you have your Draw 3D membership. Whoa. I totally appreciate your support, your enthusiasm, your creativity, and your business. I really do, especially during this crazy time. Emma says, I have a 3D membership. It's amazing. Thank you, Emma, for saying that. We, have, we try to put so many... I'm gonna put over. Oh, I'm gonna put one slanting this way, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it really big. It's really underneath here. See if you you go ahead and you draw the whole thing so you can see see, and then I erase the part that. Then you erase it down here. See, see that. Then you clean it up so you it kind of gives you an idea where the eyes are. Right, so we know one eye is gonna be here. So this is overlapping. The near one is in front of that one. See overlapping so i'll put a few of these little overlapping legs down here i love our little little baby squid guys our little squidlets little squidlets oh this is so fun oh by the way i'm really glad that you're drawing with me thank you for drawing with me remember don't stress if you can't draw and if it's not if it's not perfect that's fine the more mistakes you make the faster you're going to learn how to draw the more mistakes you make, the better you your skills going to increase. So just push that push that comfort zone. Try these new ideas and and be willing. Take that creative risk to be able, willing to flop. Give yourself the license to flop. Remember, the license to flop. Look at these cute little guys here. So. It's like the um, the baseball, the big, the, it takes, they have to strike out more times than they make home runs, right? You have to strike out on your paper more times. Robert Newstead's already a member. Thank you, Robert Newstead, executive producer and, and chief genius behind, uh, oops, not the Secret City, but he was there. I met Robert on the set of the Secret City. He was working on... Uh, uh, Motor Week and Lewis Rockheiser's Wall Street Week at Maryland Public Television back in 1985. 
And then together we formed an alliance, a creative collaboration and a lifelong friendship. And we created this wonderful TV show. We won an Emmy for the show right here. And if you want to see it, it's right here. It's on Amazon Prime. You can watch the Imagination Station. I'm so excited to be able to that. He's on with me. Robert, great to have you on. I love it. All right, there's our... What do you think, Robert? Do you like the baby squids? Do you like it? Huh? Huh, Robert? Do you like it? All right, here we go. Let's go to square number two. Now, this one... Let's draw... This one, let's, let's draw a sea turtle. You want to go crazy? We're going to draw a sea turtle. Now, the sea turtle is uh, is from this book right here. This is from my Draw, Draw, Draw series, okay? There's four of these in the series. It's called Draw, Draw, Draw. And it's in this one, and it's uh, it's a really cool one. And here's there's different versions. I have this. This is one turtle version. See that? Isn't that a fun turtle version? See that? Isn't that cool? But I want to draw the sea turtle, and I'm going to see if I have that in here. But later in the next one, after this one, we're going to draw the shark. We're going to draw the hammerhead shark coming up, you guys. Okay, isn't that cool? That's in the Draw, Draw, Draw cartoon animal series. We're going to draw that today. I'm real excited to show you. But I want to show you the sea turtle. I, don't, I, I think it's in this book. Where is the sea turtle? Well, no, it's not in this book. It's in a different one. But I'm going to draw it right now. So watch this. I'm going to have the sea turtle kind of, sea turtle's kind of swooping down here. So I'm going to draw this, this. He's coming toward the center. I'm going to draw the sea turtle's face and then his neck. See, he's going to follow this guideline. So there's his neck going. He's going to go into the shell. And his shell, I'm going to give him this big shell right here, this big sea turtle shell. I'm kind of exaggerating the shell, but, and then now the, the neck will come right here. I'm going to put a foreshortened circle right here. See what I'm doing? I'm just scribbling. You guys, just scribble, just absolutely scribble. And it's okay because you're giving, as, as, uh, Diane said, give yourself the license to flop. And Lynn, Lynn just on Facebook, uh, Oh, yeah, Lynn's still trying to get the rose drawing shading. That's wonderful. I can't wait to see your posting of the rose, uh, Lynn. That's really cool. That takes a little bit of practice. All right, so now here we go. I'm going to make the neck go into that foreshortened circle. See? All right, you with me? Now, uh, let's work on the face. I'm going to draw the eye. I'm gonna, you know what I'll do is here, I'll make the, 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 the nose come down of the sea turtle. I'm going to draw his face kind of like an S curve coming up. Isn't that cute? And then his eyes, I'm going to draw the near eye right here, a little bigger, and the other eye is just a little peekaboo eye. All right, do you love that? Let me focus this so you can see it. Isn't that, this is going to be really cool when we're done. Now, on the outside, I'm going to put a collar around his neck. See, his neck's going to be coming out of there. I'm going to put a collar around the shell. And look at this, the, the head comes down. And it kind of goes into the, I think I'm going to open his mouth. I'm going to make a foreshortened uh, shape right there. See, his mouth is open. He's smiling. He's all happy. I love that S curve. Let's clean this up. Remember, if it's not perfect, that's all right. Just scribble and sketch. Just get the general idea, you guys. Scribble and sketch. Hey, Fat Fatima, I'm glad you're drawing with me. All right, so there is his mouth opened up. We darken it inside and get lighter as it comes out. A little Muppet mouth. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have his hair. I'm going to give this guy, look at his hair. It's like, this looks like that character on Nemo. Remember, what was his name? Crunch? The skull guy, the, the, the baby and the papa, the papa turtle, when they were riding with the sea turtle group. What was that guy's name? Can you can someone help me with that? What was his name? Skull and or Crunch or Crack? Excuse me. Do you guys remember that? Crush. His name was Crush. Thank you, Katie. Uh, and hey, look, we have the Ukraine on. Hello, Ukraine. Hello, Harania. You are from U Ukraine, right? From Harania. Good to see you. I'm so glad you're here with us today. Who else do we have? Tell me where are you guys from. Hi, Benny. Tell us a new story, please. You want to hear the story? North and South wants to hear a new story. Okay. Uh, I, I, was in, uh, I was in Australia, and I was 
doing a tour a, in the middle of a world tour with my new book, The Draw Squad, came out and my secret city was on the air. And so uh, uh, NZ Airlines and uh, Bala Play, Bala from uh, uh, State of the Kids, State of, State of the Art Kids, uh, sponsored, had me come down and I toured through schools all over Australia and Sydney and up in uh, uh, Surfer's Paradise, all the way up to Darwin Beach. I visited, it was like the most extraordinary visit. Um, almost as, well, at the time it was the most amazing in, uh, foreign tour I did until I went to India this past two years ago. So I'm, so I'm in, uh, I'm going to put a four short in circle here. So I'm touring around in Australia, trying to get used to driving on the wrong side of the road, the wrong side of the road, the wrong. I wasn't driving, of course. I had the, the drivers there. And, oh, thank goodness, because they were, everybody was driving on the wrong side of the road. It was crazy. So I'm going to put a four short circle. Now watch this. I'm going to put this, this, this seat, the, 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 the leg. Look, and I'm going to make his fin kind of, this long fin, it's kind of flipping up here. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Look at this. Isn't that neat? There's his fin. And I'm going to make his big fin flipping up here. I'm going to put a little wrinkle there. Do you love that? Do you love how his fin kind of comes out? And I might even put a little kind of a wiggle on his fin. He's got these huge flippers. So one of the tour stops in the Australian tour was uh, SeaWorld and Surfer's Paradise. And I had... They must have been 18,000 kids up in the stadium, and they had me on the stage. And this is before we were using projection and, and uh, audio-visual equipment. So I had a microphone and, and three easels put, uh, 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 I don't know, must have been 10 yards apart facing different directions so that all the kids in the, so all the, kids in the uh, stadium could see. And I did a lesson for uh, 18,000 kids in the, it was my biggest group at that time. And uh, after I finished the drawing lesson, I got to jump in the water um, with the dolphins. And I don't know if you remember that story about when I, we, I think we drew the dolphins. I told you about how I jumped in the water and rode with the dolphins right there. Now I had eight, all oh, those kids. Now this back fin is smaller. This back fin is, a little, is smaller. This is kind of like their, their uh, rudders back here. And Texan Rain from uh, YouTube, on YouTube, texted, you are absolutely the best. Well, thank you, Texas Rain. I remember watching your show on PBS in the early days. So you remember watching the Commander Mark show right here. Uh, let me see. It was my highlight of escaping into my imagination with drawing. You, sir, are a beautiful man. Well, thank you. Thank you. That was nice. Look at that. Mwah, I love you guys. Mwah, I love you. I just, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys remembering. I, I was, I'm 56, 57 right now. And to for folks to remember something that I produced that I did back in when I was 19, 20, 21 years old is just, it's it's heartwarming. So look, there's a big fin and the little tiny flippers. Maybe that's a little bit too small. Now watch this, this back fin... I'm going to line it up. It goes down. Look, at it goes down, and it, I'm going to have it go up. See this? So look at this. This this fin, you can see it flipping on the other side. See, this is lower, and that's a little bit higher. So I'm going to draw this fin flipping down. Woo! Do you love it? So that fin's flipping down that way. Let's put a little... I don't know if I like that hair. Let's make them bald for right now. But I do know I'm going to put, I'll put some spots on his hair. Give him a few little spots. The spots are cool. Uh, hey, do you guys love it? Will you teach us how to draw people? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll get I, in this book right here. Uh, I, I love drawing faces. Most of them, my, my face are cartoony. But in this book, my You Can Draw in 30 Days book, I, I get into uh, Drawing uh, hands, I draw the hands, human hand, which is real tricky. I have to turn it sideways so I can see. And I draw the human eye. I don't know if you guys can see that. I have to do it upside down so that you guys can see the human eye. I have the camera angle. And then we draw, I show you the dynamics of drawing a human face. And let me show you this one right here. 
Let me see if I can lift this camera up and show you. See, we get into drawing the human face. That was a, a wonderful, wonderful lesson. It was actually featuring a good friend of mine who helped me with the, the graphic illustrations for it, Ward Makowski, who just helped me immensely with that book. Here, let's shade dark back here. And let's make it get lighter and lighter as it comes down. Lighter and lighter. Dark up here. Isn't that wonderful, you guys? Do you love our little sea turtle guy? Do you love it? Now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some dots on the some little texture on the dots on the on his on his fins, okay? On the top of his fins. Let's put a little bit of texture. And then, now watch this, on the, there's his tail. I'm gonna have to give him a little tail here. There's a little tail back in the back. Wee! And now the, this, this pattern, they have these, pat, these wonderful patterns, right? And they, they get uh, smaller and smaller and they just, And you can just make these really interesting patterns, these sea turtle patterns on the shell. I used to love to draw cobblestones for castles and draw. Now, another, here's another story when I was in Australia. Uh, that was the first time I ever did bungee jumping. Uh, I was, they featured me on there. It was kind of like the David Letterman show of Australia. And I was on that show, so then when I was touring, everybody, it was a very popular TV show, so everybody then knew, uh, knew who I was whenever, it was just amazing. I was famous in Australia for like 30 days. And wherever I went, they were, they were uh, letting me do these wonderful adventures for free. The, the bungee jumping people were saying, hey, come to our lagoon, we'll let you bungee jump, come on. And so they uh, went there and they, they, uh, they were fans of the show. And they saw me, they loved to draw on the kids. So they said, okay, go on the, so the bungee jump was over a lagoon. And I know, bungee jumping, can you believe this? And they picked me up on a, it was a crane. They lift you on a crane uh, in a little cage with a jump master. And then you jump out of the cage on the crane. And they write your weight down on your wrist. And it was uh, written down in the metric system, so... I forget what uh, it was the, in the kilograms. I think that's what it was. And so instead of being, I don't know, 200 pounds, it said I was like 17 kilograms. I, I, was, I was like, oh, it made me look like I was super light, right? And I was showing everybody, look, I'm only 17 pounds, haha. So that's how they knew how many bands to, tap, to attach to your ankle. This is back in the old days where they used to just put it on your ankle. Now if you do it, I think they do it on your waist if they even do it at all now. I don't know if they even do it anymore, but they lifted me up to, it, it was like uh, 170 feet, 180 feet. Then I jumped, can you believe it? Jumped out of the cage and they bounced bounced me. And they asked me before I jumped, they said, do you want your head to dip in the water? Because we were over the lagoon or not. And I go, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so I jumped and my head submerged in the water and it popped me back up. And I remember that popped back up so high. I remember wondering if I was going to go so high, if I was going to bounce my head on the cage, am I going to hit the cage I jumped out of? I bounced back so high, but no, I didn't hit it. They had it all worked out. And there is our sea turtle, you guys. I want to put some action lines here, put some action lines coming out here, and then little bubbles. I'm going to put action lines coming off his head here. Look at this, put bubbles, lots of bubbles, action lines, action lines, just a few bubbles. Do you guys love it? Was that one fun? Here, give me a know, how was that? Uh, I'm from Hungary, so we have Hungary on right now? Well, let's put that on our list, we have Hungary. Hey guys, I have uh, summer art camps coming and I'm not sure what time zone, uh, Hungary. We have Hungary, here's our list. And, I, and here, I'm going to, it'll be up, it's not, it won't be up till later tonight, officially. But I want to tell you the dates, I'm so excited. In, uh, I'm doing, of course, in the East Coast, uh, I'm doing weekly virtual summer art camps. I want to talk about this for a second. I want to talk about this, and here's my list. 
here's my list. Here's my list. This is this is how far we're. We're not officially yet, but this is our virtual summer art camp schedule. June one, we're gonna start. We're gonna be doing on Indian Standard Time. So it'll be like at night at night for me, nine in the morning for you guys. Eastern Standard Time is week two. Central Standard Time, we're doing three hours each day. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Here's Ukraine. We're gonna do uh, the. Uh, we're going to do the Eastern Europe Standard Time in July, a full week of Eastern Standard Time for, for Ukraine, uh, for uh, Germany and Great Britain, and um, uh, I believe in Brazil. No, not the Brazil is along with the, on the other continent. Um, but we're going to do the British Standard Time, okay? That's in July. Then here back to Texas time. But I know I'm doing one... Uh, and the Ukraine time is one hour. It'll work for Dubai also. So we have Indian, uh, India, we have Ukraine, and we have uh, Russia, and we have China on that week. And then we have the British, the, we have the Western Europe time zone. So I'm very excited to do digital summer camps, you guys. Digital summer camps this summer. Um, and it's only $99 for the week, U.S., it's open to the whole world. And uh, I wanted to hear, where's my summer camp, big summer camp logo? Of course, I, when I wanna, do, put, wanna put it up there, I wanna make a big whoopla about it and I can't find it. Woo, where's my summer camp? Where's my summer camp? Well, look at this. Uh, there it is. There's my summer camp. So check out my website, markkissler.com. It's coming tonight. We're going to have it up. It was not, it's not complete yet. You'll be confused. But also, if you guys want to join my, my uh, draw3d.com, please join that. That's $99. Or that's, uh, uh, it's $199. Here's your 75% off coupon code. And, and my son Mario's in the room. Hey, Mario. Did you see your breakfast down there? Good to see you, bud. My brother, my son's in the room. My teenager is awake. He's up. He's up. Everybody say hi to Mario. Hi. Mario, look at, we did a sea turtle. Isn't that cool? And then look, Mario. Mario, look, we did a baby squids. Isn't that cute? Yeah. All right, we're moving down here. Like we're moving to, to, uh, to uh, square number, next square, square number three. Look at everybody's yelling to hi, Mario. Everybody's yelling, hi, Mario. Yeah, someone behind you. Huh? <laughs> Oh, there's, yeah, there's Force Flash. There's Gordon. All right. Hey, Gordon. Gordon's running around by my feet, my cat. Hey, what are you doing down there? All right. So, in the next one we're going to draw is the Hammerhead Shark. You guys ready for, for the Hammerhead Shark? All right. Let's do it. The Hammerhead Shark. I'm going to start. I'm going to draw kind of the action line. I'm going to have the shark swooping around here. And I'm going to have... The shark's, uh, uh, it's going to be really cool. His eye, this is like one point perspective, but he's going to be swooping up. And that the shark, now there's really, there's, uh, I, don't, I don't know of any scientific reason why the hammerhead shark's face is like this. It has that cool head. But I think I know. I think I'm smarter than all the um, marine biologists on the planet when they, See, this is like a, it's like a tube here. And I know, I can tell you in one word why the hammerhead shark's uh, face is shaped like that. Do you guys want to know? Do you want to know my, my, uh, my take on it, my philosophy, my school of thought? Do you guys want to know? Who wants to know? Okay, Diane says, hi, Mario. Hi, Flash. Hi, Gord. Who wants to know why the, the shark's face, the shark's head, is shaped so... You know, I can tell you in one word, fashion. That's why the, sh uh, the hammerhead shark is shaped so in, in, in exquisitely because it looks cool. Fashion, th th that's why. Do you believe me? Ha! Ah! It's because it's cool. So I'm going to put wrinkles around his eye and then it's fashionable because it looks cool. All right, now watch this. I'm going to draw his snout, a little overlapping line there. It actually, look at this. Now, now watch what happens here. Uh, this is really interesting. The, this eye, it gets smaller as it moves away. It's like an airplane wing. 
and then I'm going to draw this. Now, watch this. The eye, I'm going to draw his eye. Now, this is a cartoon version. I'm exaggerating the bulging eye. But I'm going to have, maybe I'll have him, I don't know if I'll have him looking at you. I think I'm going to have him looking up at the squids. He's swooping in here. Uh, YouTube is losing focus tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Let me see if I can get it for you. Is that better? I'm trying to get it more focused for you. There's just so many people online that it's glitchy in Facebook too. Hey, you guys, give me a uh, give me a technical reading on YouTube. Uh, write YouTube uh, one through five, would you? And then write Facebook one through five. Give me an audio vi five, video five. Would you give me a, a technical reading tonight? And I just I'm someone's tumma typing Yahoo. I'm just having so much fun with you guys. Audio 5, video 5. Give me an A5, V5. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to put some wrinkles right here. Now, the, the tail is really interesting, the, the uh, fins. Watch this. I'm going to draw the bottom of the fin first. And it's coming towards you. See, this is the back tail. Swoops up. Okay, thank you guys. Hey, Fatima. Now, watch the fin. The fin... As you're going to see underneath his fin, see? The fin's going to come right here. It goes through the body, and then you can see underneath it, see? See our point of perspective? So I'm going to erase this, and the body's going to come down here, and it's going to swoop up for the tail, right? So this this fin, the pectoral fin's going to be, the perspective is it's coming in front of you. Now, I'll show you the, the resources, and... Um, and then come back up. Want to do that? Hmm? Yeah. Go down and eat to your beds. Come up. Okay, so here's your paper. You want to do that now and then come right back up? I'm going to be on for another 20 minutes. Okay. I, I missed you, bud, son. I love you. All right. Now, right here. Now, watch this. Mario, I'll put your eye drop in in just a second, okay? Okay, unless you, you want to bring your eye drop in here, I'll do it right now. We'll do it live. Oh, you want to go? Oh, right, you go ahead and go eat your breakfast. Breakfast at noon. All right, guys, here we go. Now, oh, I wanted to show you the book. Let's take a look at that book again. Let's take a look at the book. Oh, I'll take a look at the book. Um, here, here it is. This is the picture. You see this guy right here? Isn't that cool? That the hammerhead shark. That's in the draw, draw, draw cartoon animals. All right, good job, you guys. Now, so we're gonna draw the pectoral fins. There's the fashionable shark skull, and uh, you can. That's the peekaboo. That's smaller. That's further away. That's one of those. That's a really important uh, word idea of, uh, of the 12 Renaissance words. Let's go back to that chart. Let's go back to our handy chart here. And this word is called overlapping and size. See, there's size and there's overlapping. Two of those 12 Renaissance words that are so important to you. Now, the hammerhead shark's fin is really cool. I'm gonna, it's really long on top and it's shorter on the bottom. It's, it's very similar to the thresher shark's fin. And the hammerhead shark, now here's his pectoral fin. He, he's twisting a little bit, so you can just barely see. You can see the top of his back fin. And it's, oftentimes they'll have little fins underneath their, their body too. I'm going to put some, these little 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 extra fins on the bottom. They This is a very finful, it's a finful shark. It's a finicky, fun, finful shark. All right, now, clean up, clean up, clean up. We'll use our brush. I hope you guys have your drawing kit. I hope you have a pencil. Any kind of pencil will do. I hope you have an eraser. Any kind of eraser will do. I hope you have a blending stump. Any kind of blending stump or Q-tip will do. And I hope you have a sketchbook, a sketchbook that has a hard back and a spiral bind. That's really important to keep them collected. It could be along the top, or it could be one of these sketchbooks right here. These are great to keep your drawing. See, this is a nice solid one. I love this sketchbook right here. And this one has the spining on the side. On the top or the side, I like it so you can flip your drawings. 
What do you guys think of, uh, oh, Damien and Mom are here. Hello, Damien and Mom. Hello, Tina. I'm glad you guys are drawing with me. Uh, can you draw the T-Rex sometime? Oh, yeah, we did a T-Rex earlier. If you look back through the, um, let's go back and look at our noon live. I think I did. Here, I'll show you some of the noon live ones because this is our hour. But we're doing another ocean, ocean one, right? But let me show you the T-Rex before I draw the mouth of the shark. Um, boy, we did. We've done over 40 of these here. Did you guys like the feet? Did you guys like the big feet? The alien abduction? There's the T-Rex. We did that one right there. Did you guys did you guys see that one? How many of you saw that T-Rex? If you saw that T-Rex in our hour of pencil power, send me a note. Now you can look back. They're all posted on, on YouTube. You can look back and look at the collection. If you want to draw a T-Rex, just go back and look at it. That's uh it's uh, something about dinosaurs. So I'm gonna draw a big the big mouth of the shark here. This is gonna be so cool. His mouth is wide open. And then I'm gonna draw his teeth. Watch this, I'm gonna draw the shark's teeth. Rah! Look at these sharp teeth, look at this. Look at the shark's teeth here. Rah! Now in the background, uh, oh, thank you guys. You guys have so many great comments. Art is so important, it's the best form of expression. Well, I agree. But I also, I love music too. I love music and I love classical music and I love uh, contemporary guitar and I love uh, vocal. I love the sound, the song, sound of choirs. So that's a wonderful form. Any kind of arts expression. I love sculpture. I love uh, ballet. I love watching ballet. Here's a story. Okay, here I am in high school. I was in um, water polo, right? And I was in swimming, competitive swimming. I almost went to the Olympics. Uh, well, I was number like 82 out of the, the, the 100 tryouts, right, for the Olympics. I was number 82 and they took 12. <laughs> I, was almost, I was almost in the Olympics by, I was in the top 100, okay, guys? Come on. And so as I get older, I exad, oh, yeah, I just missed it by a hair. I missed it by three seconds or something. It was, uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but three seconds... And the Olympics is 100 people, right? So anyways, uh, what was the story I was telling you about? Oh, my gosh. What was my story? I had a really fun story I was going to tell you, and I got I side, I sidetracked to the, to the swimming. Oh, goodness gracious. I was in the middle of a really good story. And let me look back and see if you guys can, uh, if I can remember it. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, ballet, ballet, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I was in, the, ah, that's, that's a good story too, it's really good. So I was in swimming and water polo in our water, which is really a aggressive, tough sport, water polo. You get you get hammered in water polo. And you don't have all that protection that you have in football. You're out there with a little bathing suit and a cap on. And uh, it was... Uh, um, uh, so I'm in water polo off season now. This, the coach says, okay, you guys, you can go cross country because you have to keep your legs really strong. There's a lot of egg beater kicking so you can float. So you can have your hands up to block the, the, the water polo ball, but you have to use your legs a lot and churning like egg beaters to, to be able to get your body up out of the water, up to your waist. You have to get out of the water up to your waist just with your legs can you, and with your hands in the air to block shots. And I was really good at that. Now I can't do it at all, of course, right? But back then, and the way to keep your legs strong during the off season, the coach gave us a choice. We could, we could um, run cross country. We could run cross country or he, I think he was just joking. Or you can do ballet. I think he was joking because he wanted everybody to run cross country. There's no way I was going to run cross country. I do not like gravity. I am not a fan of gravity. I loathe gravity. I love water. I love that's why I love scuba diving so much. Gravity. I have, I have block on my phone, uh, and I still get these some strange calls. Isn't that weird? How they get by my block? Um. So, 
I was the only one out of the 50 guys on the water polo team. They all went to cross country, and I went to the ballet. <laughs> I took ballet, and I was the only man. I was, a, I, was I think, a 17. I was the only guy and in the ballet uh, class, and there was, uh, it must have been 30 girls, and we're in high school, and they were so beautiful and fun, and basically, so here I am, the only guy with 30 beautiful ballet dancers, and basically my job was to stand in the middle of the stage and bend my legs, plie, and position one, I remember that, position one, position three, plie, plie, and the girls would come running toward me and I would catch them like in uh, that movie Flash Dance. I'd pick them up and twirl them around and then put them down. That was what I did for two and a half months is I got to have beautiful girls running at me, jumping into my arms, and I would twirl with them and then set them down gently, ever so gently. How's that? How's that for a smart decision? And, uh, you know, those those guys thought, oh, you, you chose ballet, oh... And I go, dudes, you don't know what you're missing. And they came to watch the recital because I was actually in the recital. And they, at the end of the season, they're at the end of the off season, about to start water polo. And they then, they all thought I was so smart that I did that <laughs> instead of running in the heat out in the for cross country. And was that a good story? Do you like that? I got to do ballet dancing. My mom was so proud of me that I marched to the beat of a different drummer. And I and I went and I got to dance with 30 beautiful ballet dancers. It was so much fun. I had so much fun. They were just so happy. It was a joyful and it was great. All right. So now let's put the action here. Uh, Roanne loves that. Did you like my story? Okay. I just wanted to make sure I'm going that was uh, that was a fun one. You like my stories? I'll, I'll tell more stories as we go. Here, put some wrinkles, some wrinkles here. Momo, hey, Catherine. Catherine said hi to Momo. Hey, Momo. There's the shark. The the, the Put the action lines. I'm going to put some, maybe I'll put some bubbles coming out of the mouth here. Maybe I'll put some bubbles. I'm getting phone calls. I have my uh, my block on my phone, and I'm getting weird phone calls. Isn't that crazy? That nuts? How in the world can you get? Uh, all right, there's our shading. Do you love it? All right, there's our there's our scene. We have we have our squids. We have our turtle. We have our little sharky guy. And now uh, this one. Let's. Oh, this is gonna. This is a really good one. Our last drawing today. Thank you for loving my stories. Our last drawing, square number four. And I'll I'll, I'll draw a little clock here. I'll draw a little, a little clock. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll make one of the tubes come. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in there yet. I'll, I'll post it. I'll finish this later. It depends on how much time we have. But this, this drawing is cool. Watch this. Check this out. Uh, this one is, I believe it's back in the back of the book. There it is. And... I, I got to find it here. Where is that picture? Where is that picture? There it is. Look at this. This is the drawing we're going to do. This, this, this drawing right here is in the book of the Draw, Draw, Draw Cartoon Animals. So you can order this from uh, Amazon. Um, Amazon is the only one that carries these books, the Draw, Draw, Draw series. There's four of them. And uh, the seahorse. We haven't done a seahorse yet, but for this one, we would... I think we did a seahorse. Didn't we do a seahorse? I don't think. Here, let me look back in my news. If we haven't done a seahorse, we'll do a seahorse coming up. I just have to, I'll put that on my list. I think we've done a seahorse. We did flying marshmallows. That was cool. We did a, a one-point perspective. We did a desert. We did a candy cane lane. And we did the desert scene. These are cool. I wonder if we did the seahorse here. I wonder if we did the seahorse. We did Bob. Remember Bob? Remember the stories of Bob? And we did the dolphin jumping. Remember the and this that? Remember the the penguin and the dolphin? We did the uh the egg. Remember this one? These are all on YouTube, you guys. We did the flying owl. Remember the owl? We did the 3D letter E's. We did our 3D letter E's here. 
And we did the teddy bear and the penguin, but I don't see a seahorse. We haven't done a seahorse yet, huh? All right, you guys, are, we did the flowers. Remember the flowers? Wasn't that fun? The rose? I think that's what you were talking about earlier, right? Learning to shade the rose. We did the ants. Remember we did the hour of pencil power? Hey, there's Flash. My kitty cat Flash. And we did Humpty Dumpty. Remember we did Humpty Dumpty on the, on the wall? And we did the doggy. Boy, we did a lot of drawings here. We did the doggy. But I don't see a sea. Oh, we did do a seahorse. We did a seahorse way back at the beginning. See the seahorse? So you just go to YouTube and type, look for the seahorse and the mermaid. We did the mermaid too. Look at that. That was the pencil hour of pencil power. I hope you guys, uh, if you want to see these, you go to YouTube and you see them. They're, they're in a whole collection, a playlist. You subscribe to my YouTube channel and all 40 of these are on the playlist. They'll be there forever, okay? Well, for as long as YouTube stays up, so... I hope you guys uh, check it out. Okay, all right, so let's do this scene. Where's the book? Where's the book? Where is my, where's, there's my sample book. What did I do with it? Now this is crazy, I just had it in my hand. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, can you do that? Can you guys lose a picture that fast like I do? I can I can lose a, a, a something within like two minutes. Now here's we're gonna draw that little fishy guy. All right, so I'm gonna have this up on my my board because I haven't done it in a long time. So I put it up on my easel, so I have a little reference. All right, this is a good drawing. This is really cool. I think you're gonna like it. So right in the middle, we're gonna draw a little fishy guy. Here's a little fish. He's gonna be staring right at you. And let me zoom this guy in so you can see more. All right, everybody, good. You guys with me? And now this fish, I'm gonna draw his big, big eyes like that. Uh, this reminds me of that fish from Dory, right? The fish is swimming right at you. And then uh, remember that uh, uh, Dory the fish who's like, "Do you want? Are you? Why are you following me?" Is that her name, Dory? Right. So I'm gonna draw the dorsal fin for the fish, and I'm gonna focus this guy. There we go. Focus it. And I'm gonna make this, this fish is gonna just got a big smile. It's a happy fish. Little lip here, little happy fish. And then now the pectoral fin, I'm gonna draw the pectoral fins on the side here. Maybe I'll make this guy waving. He's gonna be waving here. Now watch how I make the pectoral fin. Little fishy. I'm gonna curve that little pectoral fan and curve that. So he's waving, he's like, hey, hi, how are you? So we'll darken in. I'm gonna put him inside of a, a clump of uh, coral, a clump of coral and sea seaweed. He's gonna, he's looking around, he's looking right at you. I'm gonna put his, his eyes. I'm gonna keep a little reflection here. Keep a little reflection. I think you'll like this. We have uh, 37 people on YouTube drawing with me. Wonderful. Hi, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay, all you guys? And uh, tell me what country you're from. YouTube is usually where I get my, my international viewers. And remember, this summer, I'm going to do full week-long virtual art camps. I'm going to do one for uh, Ukraine and Eastern Europe time zone. I'm going to do one for India time zone a whole week. All you folks in India, I'm going to do a whole week of virtual art camps for your time zone in uh, Great Britain and uh, Western Europe and all over the U.S. and South America. We'll have those time zones. So it's going to be really cool. It's a, it's a grand experiment since I'm we're all going to be home. I'm going to be home all summer. So um, I hope you guys think about and. Uh, well, Raleigh, North Carolina, we do have a full week of Eastern Standard Time summer camps. So I'm going to do a bunch of coral twos. Watch this. I'm going to put a bunch of foreshortened circles. I'm going to put a bunch of squished foreshortened. These are going to be coral twos, okay? So I'm going to put a bunch a bunch of foreshortened circles over here. Squishy little foreshortened circles, okay? Foreshortened circle here, maybe a small one here. And... A four short and circle, different angles. See now, these are these are going to be coral tubes. Now watch what I'm going to do. This coral tube here is going to go down and come around. I'm going to taper it down. See that? 
And then this coral tube, watch this, this coral tube is gonna go this way. Isn't that cool? And then this coral tube is gonna be behind here. I don't know where how it's gonna come through, but we're gonna have it over here. And then this one, I just, I make a mess and then I'll go through and clean it up. And then I'll put some back here. Look at this one, this one's up here. You see all these coral tubes? And then I wanna do this one. This one's gonna be sweeping up here. And I'll put another coral tube here. See how they're just, they're, they're all curving around here. Now this, this guy, I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put a four shortened circle here and here. I'm gonna put just a whole bunch of these little four shortened circles. Now, so then I'll take these and I'm just gonna make a whole mess of these guys as they, they curve around and they're gonna be all, they're gonna be all mixed up here. And then we'll go through and I'll, I'll erase it. Does that make sense? I start here and then, I, and then I'll erase it. I'll have this coming down. Okay, do you guys like that? All the coral tubes? Now we have to decide which one's closest and we start erasing them, right? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this one the closest one. So you start cleaning them up, just like we did on the dinosaur necks, remember that? I'll draw this coral tube coming up here and then this one will be next behind it, so I'll erase that. Does that make sense what I'm doing, you guys? See, I draw, you can, and then you overlap it, right? But I want this one to tuck through here and then come in front. I love that. So I'm making them kind of twist around like we're braiding hair. We're braiding coral tubes. Now on the cover of this book, this is a good one to see. Look at this. On the cover of this book, uh, once again, I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. On the cover of the book. Um, oh, it's not this one. Let me show you the coral tubes. Whoops, my, my whole display fell down. Ah! Oh, I got to get this. Oh, there we go. Well, I don't know how to... What I've done, I just destroyed my entire setup. Ah! But I want to show you this really cool example. All right, here. This is the book. I, like, I have a lot of my books out here. This is uh, my drawing in 3D. I don't know if you've ever seen this book. Have, have you guys ever seen this book? If you have, now look at the coral tube here. See the coral tube, how it's twisted around? And over on this side. See over on that side? Isn't that cool on the seahorse? This is, uh, look at the fishy. We're drawing that fish right now on the clam. <clears throat> so this book right here, this is a great one. You can get that one from Amazon too, okay? Here we go. This looks great. Well, just take your time. And I know it looks messy at first, but then you can clean it up, you guys. You can clean it up and have fun with this. And right here, that'll be our logo. I'll do that. I'll do that logo later. All right. Look at this. Isn't this cool, you guys? And you pick which one's going to be closest. I think I'm going to make this one closest here. So then I'll draw that detail. Let me zoom this in. Our little fishy guy, little fishy waving, hello, hello, hello. And then maybe I'll put some bubbles. I like putting bubbles coming out of the our little fishy, even though we know they don't breathe bubbles, but just makes it kind of fun. Using our creative license. All right, and then we'll draw the four shorts and circle here. We're coming down. Do you love it? And there's this one behind. Uh, making a mess with Mark. Well, that's fine. That's messy. Get messy. Get out of your comfort zone and get 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 into this creative madness and just scribble and sketch and doodle and then clean it up and darken it in and doodle some more and scribble some more. And I'm gonna put these guys in front. That's why you have your eraser, so you can define it. You can refine it and define it. Isn't that fun? All right, I sure enjoyed having you guys draw with me today. 
Thank you so much for drawing with me. I'm gonna add shading to these and I'll darken in the background. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is, and you, you don't have to do this if you want, you can, but first of all, let's shade it. I'm gonna shade these first. So let's shade inside the tube. Let's shade the away from the light. There is light under the sea. Well, uh, down to about 150 feet uh, or about 50 meters. And well, actually the color starts disappearing when you're scuba diving at about uh, 60, 70 feet or about 20, 30 meters deep. All the colors start looking like uh, greenish and purple. All your color, your color spectrum starts diminishing the deeper you get. So pretty soon it's all like really greenish and yellowish. And then, then you lose light. You get, now I used to think, how in the world can water be uh, opaque? How, how in the world can water be so thick? The deeper you get that, it blocks out light. And so I used to, to do this uh, example when I was teaching um, with the plastic transparencies of an overhead projector. I would put one plastic sheet on the cell and do a drawing. And I would say, okay, there it is. It's plastic. I'd put another piece of plastic on top of it, and it was fine. You could still see it. Well, then I put another and another, and pretty soon after I put about a 50 pieces of plastic on the overhead projector, it blocked out all the light. The plastic blocked the clear plastic. If you put 50 of them, it, it blocks it all out. You can't see through it. And I, I use that same idea for water, so how, how it could be pitch dark deep in the water. It's because of all the layers of all the small microorganisms and subatomic particles and the phytoplankton and all those, all the layers and layers and layers of the, uh, the molecules in the water, they block the light eventually. Can you believe that? Now this one gets tricky. I'm putting the shading. Isn't that interesting how it could get pitch black way down, you know, a couple hundred feet down to thousands of feet? It's pitch black down there. And then it gets low. And then you, when you come up, like in the submarines, when they come up, you can see the light slowly glowing. It's really quite an experience. I'm sure. I've never done it. I've never gone that deep. The deepest I've been is about, I've been about 120 feet, and I was very uncomfortable. I am not a deep water scuba diver. I like to stay around 40 to 60 feet. That is what I like. I ran out of air one time when I was scuba diving. I was uh, I was about 80 feet, 90 feet. I was too, too deep. And I ran out of air. And I had to go do an emergency ascent, emergency rise. And my brother saw me struggling. He came rushing over. And we ha you have a spare a buddy. You have a buddy adapter, a buddy mouthpiece, buddy regulator on yours. And so I was uh, uh, rising up and I was had to, you have to blow out your air. You can't ever hold your breath if you're coming up and you're deep. So I was blowing out my air and they teach you in uh, scuba class when you're rising, if you're making an emergency ascent to, to say, ah, and what's fascinating is as you're rising the air is expanding so you can say ah uh, for for a lot longer than you normally would because the air is expanding so my brother caught up with me when i was about halfway up to the surface and he gave me some bre some breathing air from his tube which was really he's he come over to my rescue and i i have no excuse for running out of air except i went too deep and my air compressed in the tank because when I got back to the surface, it showed I still had a couple hundred pounds in my, in my tank. But down at 80, 90 feet, it showed zero air. The compression, you know, the air compressor. Okay, here, shade down here. Isn't that? There's a story for you. That was crazy. One time I'll tell you the story of when I had to go to the hyperbaric chamber because uh, they thought I had uh, the bends from scuba diving. I did a lot of diving in my 20s. I probably did, oh, I don't know, 500 scuba dives maybe. All of Australia, North America, Japan. All right, well, there you go. There's your drawing. There's your drawings for today, guys. Do you love them? I hope you enjoyed it. There's our, our four drawings. I think what I'll do on this one 
is I'm going to darken in the background. I'm not going to do it all right now, but this is a good one. This is, the, you know, how I like to pick one that I'll put a nice dark background. And this will help us separate those coral tubes, you see. Isn't that fun? So I'll take this one. I'm going to make this one my my dark background. Does that make sense? So I'll finish this one up later on. All right, well, you guys, you did fantastic. This is our hour of pencil power. Um, I'll write that in here in just a second. I'll, I'll post this in a little bit. Our hour of pencil power. Uh, thank you for pre-ordering my book. You can draw in 30 seconds. And uh, thank you for going to my website. And my website right here, here's markkistler.com. Look for this logo. Click that logo. It's half off to pre-order my uh, my new book that I'm doing right here. It's our pencil power, a whole collection of all my drawings. It's going to be a, it's a really it's a big eight and a half by eleven book. This is a small art card. Look for that logo, and if you order it, you guys order it today. I'll send you a free PDF of all of the a free index of all the pages in the book so far. I'll send you a, fr a free PDF. That's coming today. So if you want to uh, pre-order it, look for that logo. It's not $100. It's a $50 contribution. And I'll draw something on the inside cover. Look for that logo right there, okay? 50% off. I so appreciate it. Um, also, thank you guys for signing up for my draw3d.com. Hundreds of lessons. We've been doing this for over 10 years. I think it's closer to 15 years now. i got to check it out. And stay tuned for more information about my summer art camps, okay, guys? Thank you guys for drawing with me. I think I'll leave, I'll put this on. Whoops. I think I'll put this cover on the, of the book. This will be my, that'll be my ending shot right here. Wait, where's the one with the pencil? I have one with the pencil. Where's my one with the pencil? Uh, you could pencil power. I got to find my pencil power one. Ah, there's one with a pencil here. Mark, can you hand me that one that's on the cutting board? I'll use that one. I always lose my little art cards. This is crazy. It's right there on the, right there on the top. There it is. There we go. I have an extra one. I'll end with that one right there. Our pencil power. Thank you guys. Stay creative. Uh, stay patient with each other. Super, super patient. We're doing great. We're in this together is 10 feet apart. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.